Hey everyone, Nicole here. This video is from ohiochannel.com and it focuses on Ohio House Bill 11. Lisa Chafee, Director of Parents' Rights and Education, testified about Ohio House Bill 11, also called the Backpack Bill. In her testimony of support of this bill, Lisa explained why this bill is needed now more than ever because of the egregious and inappropriate content within public schools. Let's check it out. The chair now calls on Lisa Breedlove Chaffee, Director of Parents' Rights and Education. Ms. Chaffee, welcome to committee. You may begin. Uh, thank you. It's Chaffee. Excuse uh, me. Good afternoon, Chair Bird, Vice Chair Fowler Arthur, Ranking Member Robinson, and the members of the House Primary and Secondary Education Committee. Uh, I am Director of Parents' Rights and Education for Ohio. My most important job is I'm a mom. I have one son who's in high school, uh, 16 going on 30, but that's a whole other conversation. Uh, I'm here to ask you for support for HB 11. Our rights as parents are completely being stripped away in public schools right now. We are literally being held hostage by a, a broken system, uh, by the National Education Association, the teachers union, have so much control in the schools right now of what's happening, and we are stuck. Uh, I, I'm in Hilliard and we are a good performing school, so the Ed Choice Scholarship would not be available to me. I, I'm a single mom, I work two jobs. I can't afford to send my son to a private school or even a charter school. Um, what's happening in our schools right now is, is horrific. Uh, we know our schools are failing. Ohio used to be ranked fifth, we're down to 35th. Uh, we have some districts where 80% you know, of the kids are not proficient in reading and math. So they're not prepared to go out into the real world and be successful. But what's happening, is, is particularly in Hilliard and it's happening all over the state, is our administrators and our activist teachers, and we have many wonderful teachers, uh, have decided that they know best. They are telling us, uh, you don't have a master's degree in education, so you have no say in what the curriculum is. But what's most egregious is they are um, diagnosing children with mental health issues, and they're withholding that information from parents. Uh, for example, I had on October 29th of last year, a father reach out to me. His daughter, the day before, was taken to the school counselor for having suicidal thoughts. As it turned out for a month pre previous to that, she had been getting up in class to go out in the hallway simply to cry because she was having such anxiety and depression. And as it turns out, some of her classmates were trying to convince her that she indeed was transgender. And she was stuck. She felt being pushed into that box, and she didn't know what to do. Several teachers knew this was happening, but because she's part of the LGBTQ community, they thought, no, we're not going to tell parents, because what if the parents react negatively and beat this child or send this child away to conversion therapy. And I actually had our superintendent and other administrations in Hilliard tell me that is why they refuse to tell parents when kids are having mental health issues, especially amongst the LGBTQ community. Fortunately, this young girl's friend picked up that she was suicidal and took her to the counselor, who then administered the suicide survey in front of the friend, which is a HIPAA violation, who then went and blabbed it to all of her classmates. Fortunately, the child is fine now. Parents wrapped their arms around this child and just really got her the help that she needed, and it turned out she's not confused about her identity. But for that whole month, she was robbed of the opportunity of knowing the unconditional love from her parents. And her parents were robbed of the opportunity to get their child the help that she needed. Thank God her friend picked up that she was suicidal because she had a plan. She'd be dead now had that friend not realized this. But this is what's happening in our schools. Schools are telling parents, we don't matter. And this is why we need to be able to take our kids to schools where they can be safe. We are also having issues with um, the union pushing gender queer theory, tennis of critical race theory. For example, in Hilliard, and, and I live there, but there, if you can go, I've given you all in my written testimony links to uh, Protect Ohio Children where you can see examples from all across the state. But our union president brought in badges from the NEA that say safe person, safe space, on the back is a QR code. I scanned the QR code. With three clicks, I got to a video called Sex Acts That Don't Get Enough Play. What does that have to do with education? Why do teachers need to look at this? And their whole excuse was, oh, this is for teacher resources only. 
but we have evidence of children having access to these badges, our kids are not stupid. They know more about technology than we do. And they can easily scan that QR code with their iPads or their phone and get to literally recipe cards for performing specific sexual acts, which I will not go into detail about that, but you have the examples in my written testimony. We've been battling for the school to remove these badges. Their solution, we'll cover it up with tape. Not everybody's doing that. Not only that, guess what? In Ohio last year, 352 teachers were arrested and charged with sex crimes against students. So here we've got teachers wearing a badge that says they're a safe person. Ms. Chafee, thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you so much, Lisa, for your testimony. Your testimony is making such an impact. And you can make an impact, too, by becoming a member at Parents Rights in Education. All you have to do is visit our website, parentsrightsineducation.com, and click Become a Member today. Thanks for watching.